What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you can see behind me, things are looking a little bit different. Got a new shelf, so I'm super excited to share that with y'all. Um, in a couple days, I'm gonna be uploading an updated collection tour. So that's when I'll kind of show everything about that. But as of right now, I'm just kind of wanting to make a June manga haul, you know, go through all the stuff that I picked up this month. So yeah, sorry I've been kind of away for a little bit. I've just kind of been busy with life, you know, stuff like that, you know how it is. Um, so yeah, uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. I'm uh, really excited about this month's haul because I got a lot of good stuff, uh, pre-orders, continuations of series, and just completely new stuff. So yeah, I'm, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so starting it off, we have Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 16. This series makes me fall in love with it so much more every time it releases a new volume. I'm only update with the uh, physical releases I don't read it online, but from what I've heard, the most recent chapters are going insane. So I can't wait to get into those because I hear those are just so crazy. So I'm really excited to keep on going with this. I literally don't understand how I'm able to keep liking it more and more, but I'm serious. Please check this out if you haven't already. It's, it's amazing. Okay, so next up, kind of a bittersweet release. We had volume 11 of Chainsaw Man, which was the end of part one. Uh, what did you guys think about the ending? I, I, th I liked the way it ended. I was really kind of thrown off guard as to what happened. Uh, at the very end i really don't want to get into spoilers but like basically like what happens with the control bevel and everything like that um really interesting uh and i'm super excited because part two starts out like in like maybe a week or so so i'm really wondering to see where it's gonna go for part two uh, the anime is also coming out in october they need to release another trailer it's literally been a year since they released the first one okay so next up for my june pre-orders i got sakamoto days volume two this is such a fun read. Um, the action is drawn like so perfectly uh, and just the characters are just funny, but at the same time they're serious and it really makes you like interested to see like what's happening. You know, it's very a, a plot driven series instead of a character driven, I would say 100%. Uh, this volume actually took a really dark turn towards the end. Not really what I was expecting from this, but I'm really liking the direction it's heading. Uh, and I'm hoping that more volumes are going to come out soon. I've kind of been on the internet seeing some of the, the uh, future volume covers, especially volume 7. I'll put up a picture of it, but like, it looks so cool compared to these first two ones. So, this series is just another one that I'm really excited to keep going on with. Okay, uh, so to end off the June new releases, I have a uh, new series that just dropped. So, I would highly recommend getting into this. It's so good and that is Blue Lock Volume 1. Uh, this is a soccer manga, um, kind of like this competition to become the next big player. You, you have to face off against 300 other strikers to become like the, the guy, you know, the man. Um, and basically, if you don't make it, you kind of get like blackballed. Like they're gonna like keep your name down and not really let you compete in uh, high level soccer anymore. Um, and, you know, I, I played soccer in high school and you know, I, I enjoy soccer to an extent, but like, even if you don't, this is gonna be such a good read. I didn't really know completely what to expect going into it. I knew it was about soccer, but I didn't really know much else. But everybody said like, oh, it's good, it's amazing. Um, and I kind of want to see for myself, you know, but man, it's, oh, it's such a good read. Like the, I think it's the second chapter, they played this like game uh, and it's like super high stakes, super intense. Um, it just such a page turner, you know, like this is literally like the definition of a page turner Like I could not get through this fast enough um, This is another one where I'm really excited to see what happens next just because you know I'm just so interested to see how this plays out The artwork is also really good. Uh, it kind of is reminiscent of the bleach art style from later in the series Not really as much the beginning, but uh, like the later volumes of bleach is very similar to that um, so yeah, definitely please check this out if it's not on your radar yet, but I'm sure it is because literally everybody's talking about it. All right, so that wraps up my uh, pre-orders and new releases for the month of June. Now I'm gonna go into kind of some just other stuff that I picked up. All right, so next up, I got two volumes of a series that I've really been wanting to finish, and that is volume five and six of Hell's Paradise. Uh, if you wanna know how I feel about Hell's Paradise, I absolutely love it. I literally made a whole video about it. I'm gonna link it up in the little box over there. Uh, so definitely check that out, check that video out. I put a lot of effort into, into that one. And I really, really think that more people need to be reading this series because it's just so good and so slept on in my opinion. 
but yeah, when I started picking up the series, these two were the, the volumes that were just so hard to find. And I really couldn't find them for a while. In fact, whenever I was reading it, I just kind of had to um, read these two online just because I couldn't find them. Um, but they finally came back in stock, so I decided to pick them up and complete my collection just because I love the series so much. Um, so yeah, definitely please read Hell's Paradise, I'm telling you. All right, so uh, next up on my other pickups, I got three more volumes of Doro Head Doro. So I got volume 12, 13, and 14. So basically what I've been doing recently is whenever I order from Ride Stuff, I'll add in a few volumes of Doro Head Doro to uh, fit that free shipping threshold. So that was what I did this time. I'm pretty close to finishing it. I think I got like nine volumes left. Yeah, nine. Uh, so I'm super excited to kind of finish that because uh, I really want to get into it. Doro Doro is a really cool story from what I've read and I want to be able to, you know, read it all start to finish. Um, so yeah, definitely also check out Doro Doro if you're interested in like post-apocalyptic type uh, atmospheres and like super gritty uh, trashy like environments stuff like that or if you like magic and stuff like that there's like sorcery and just really a lot of violence too so uh, a lot of good things in there all right so uh, now for the last thing that I picked up in June this is a series that's actually pretty special it's something that I've really kind of been interested in and wanted to like pick up but I just haven't really been able to find uh, where to get it because it's a series that's really chronically out of stock uh, and that is D Gray Man. Uh, so yeah, if you saw my previous month's haul video, I found volume one on eBay, uh, along with like another little lot. And uh, a couple weeks after that, I was on the Manga Swap subreddit, and I saw somebody selling D Gray Man one through 21 for a really good deal. Um, so I decided, you know, I can't pass up on that, and I picked it up. Uh, I've read a few more volumes and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I really like this series a lot. It's very similar to Full Metal Alchemist. If you're a fan of that, I would highly recommend checking out D. Gray Man. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of like flash the covers on screen real quick just so you can see what they all look like. I already got Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4, Volume 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, volume 10, this one's probably my favorite cover out of the ones I have so far. 11, this one's also pretty cool as well. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Uh, yeah, so that about does it for my June haul. Um, I know there are six other volumes out for D. Gray Man. Uh, it goes to 27 so far. Uh, I'm gonna try to track those down eventually, but as of right now, I'm just gonna kind of wait to see if I can find a good deal on them. So yeah, that uh, about does it for this video. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you guys' support. Um, be on the lookout for my next video. It's gonna be really exciting because it's gonna be like my one year of collecting manga anniversary video. Uh, so that's gonna be a really cool video. I'm gonna be doing a updated collection tour Just kind of going through like why I started collecting manga um, But yeah, other than that, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time watching me just talk about something that I enjoy Talking about but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace